In this video, we're going to complete example two. It says the average height of a male is 176 centimeters and is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 10 centimeters. Now, there are actually three parts to this question, A, B, and C. But before we get in there, I would like to label my Z scores on this bell curve here. So we know that our mean or average is 176 centimeters. And we also know that our standard deviation is 10 centimeters. So the mean goes right in the middle, 176 centimeters, and has a Z score of zero. If we keep adding on 10 each time, we're going to get 186 with a Z score of positive one, 196 with a Z score of positive two, and 206 with a Z score of positive three. As we move to the left, we're subtracting 10. So we're going to get 166 with a Z score of negative one, 156 with a Z score of negative two, and 146 with a Z score of negative three. All right, looking at question A, Michael Jordan is 198 centimeters tall. What is his Z score? So 198 centimeters is about here on the bell curve, if I mark it in pink. And you can see that it's slightly above positive 2. So it's going to be a Z score of 2 point something. Because of that, we really need to use the formula here. Our formula being that Z equals X, our score, minus X bar, which is our mean, over S, which is our standard deviation. So our score, which is X, is basically how tall Michael Jordan is. He's 198 centimeters. And now we're going to subtract our mean, which is 176 centimeters. Subtract 176, all over S, our standard deviation of 10. Now, 198 minus 176 will actually give us 22. So we get 22 over 10. And 22 over 10, or 22 divide 10, gives us a Z score of 2.2. To be more specific, it's positive 2.2. Which sounds about right, because when we look at our bell curve, we can see that it lies slightly above the 2. When we look at question B, Muggsy Bogues is the shortest NBA player ever at 160 centimetres. What is his Z score? So looking at our bell curve, 160 centimetres is somewhere in here between negative 1 and negative 2. So once again, we're going to have to use the formula because it's got a decimal in it. The formula being that Z equals X, our score, minus X bar, our mean, over S, our standard deviation. So X, which is our score, is the height of Muggsy Bogues at 160 centimeters. But they're gonna subtract our mean, which is 176 centimeters, 176. And then we're gonna put this over our standard deviation of 10. Now, when we look at the top of the fraction, 160, minus 176 actually gives us a negative number. It gives us negative 16, and that's a good thing. You'll, you'll soon see why. So it's negative 16 over 10, which when we divide this gives us negative 1.6. And this is great because we know that our Z score should be a negative between negative one and negative two. So our answer is negative 1.6. Now moving on to question C, it says, what Z score would you give to someone who is 176 centimeters tall? Now, 176 centimeters is the mean or average. And whenever you fall on the mean, your Z score is zero because your zero standard deviations above or below the mean. So we're just going to write that Z or our Z score will be zero. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.